In this demonstration, we'll show how a UiPath robot can be used to assist a call center agent through both identification and triage through the use of a single user interface. Most call center agents require training on multiple systems and constantly need to switch between applications, which can negatively impact call experience for the customer, the overall call duration, and the accuracy, as they are often forced to copy and paste between applications and systems. Here, we'll show just how one user interface can be used to allow the agent to guide a caller through a series of questions and to rapidly action their request without them needing to interact with any other system. For demonstration purposes, the robot actions will be shown on the screen, but in a production environment, these actions can be hidden from view or even handed off to back office robots. Let's take a look at the single user interface. Here, we'll simulate calls coming into an insurance center. Along the top and down the right hand side are script prompts. Let's walk through the conversation between an agent and Andrew Jones, a customer. On the right hand side, it indicates, hello, may I take your policy number, please? Alternatively, your first and last name. If the caller knows their policy number, it can be entered here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hitting the lookup policy button triggers the robot to immediately perform a database lookup, returning with the customer details and their date of birth. These details can now be used for verification purposes to ensure we're speaking to the right person. However, here, the details aren't right. These are not Andrew Jones details. So we can indicate that a security verification test failed and ask for the full name details instead of the policy number. The robot now searches on an alternative system and returns with the policy number. As Mr. Jones is able to confirm his date of birth, that security passed. A production system may of course have additional layers of security. Now, the agent is able to view more details about the customer, here showing their address details. The agent now has access to other tabs, such as the Actions tab. Here, any number of actions could be represented with buttons. For example, if Mr. Jones had informed us that their date of birth details were wrong on the policy, we could have made a change on the previous screen and could update the systems with a single button click. Here, it's firstly updating a mainframe system. And now a customer web portal system. Next, we're able to add sections that are relevant to a particular circumstance or event. Here, we can immediately enable the agent to be able to respond to additional triage questions. The script walks them through. If Mr. Jones was in immediate medical distress, we could advise him to call emergency services or transfer him directly if the system enabled it. Alternatively, we could ask him if he's calling about life insurance. As we've detected he doesn't have it, we could enable the option again through a single button click. Here, the relevant information could be immediately packaged up and emailed across to him. And so the questions could continue, with Mr. Jones being able to take medical claims, etc. This concludes a demonstration of UiPath's form capability, enabling an agent to immediately become available for call center deployment with minimal training 
or access to systems.